Hi there, this is Dave Bensman of Bensman Home Computer Repair and today I'd like to do a short video about windows, specifically actual windows, not just the operating system. Uh, right here we have a window, it's a browser window and all, almost all windows in Windows have certain similar properties and if you learn to recognize those properties you can navigate around your operating system uh, a lot easier let's uh, take a look at some of these properties right here I'm gonna I'm gonna well first things first right up here at the top you can see where my cursor is you can see there's kind of like a uh, a blank space where uh, if I were to add a whole bunch of tabs it would kind of fill up that blank space, but there'd still be a little bit right here where you could click on. Now, if I want to move the whole window, all I have to do is take my cursor, put it in this gray area on the top of the window, and then hold my left mouse button down, and I can move the window anywhere I want. I can move it all the way to the right, all the way to the left, down, or I can't really move it up because that's where my cursor is, but it does help you get it out of the way. Now, if you take it and you move it all the way here, if you notice as soon as my cursor hits the right side of the screen, it you you have kind of like a, a shadowy window that appears. And what that does is, is it makes, when I let go of my left mouse button, it makes, it snaps it. That's what they call it, snapping. It snaps the window so that it takes up the left side of the screen. Then, when I move it back to the center, it regains its original shape. If I go to the left side, as soon as my cursor hits the left side of the screen, it does the same thing and it snaps it into place. I can always drag it back to where I wanted to go. So that's very helpful. And that, if you end up ever in, end up in a position where you're like this and you can't see what's going on and you can't get into get to any of your navigation buttons just remember you can put your cursor down here where the gray is left click and hold drag it back where you want it now right over here these are very important these three buttons you see these if I were to open a uh, just like a uh, regular uh, window just like a window in windows you would see those three buttons right there um, right here you can see there's like something that looks like a line something that looks like a square and something that looks like an X if I click on the line it takes the window down to the taskbar and if I click on the little tab in the taskbar it pops right back up again if I click on the square it expands the window so that it fills the whole screen. Then if I click on the, you see right now, and, it, and the square goes away and it becomes a square over a square. And if I click on that, it goes back to the previous size. And then if I click on the X, it closes the window. And then if I open it again, it opens again, just by, you know, cause I have it in my quick launch, rather I have it in my taskbar. So it's just a single quick, a click. Uh, so basically, you want to remember these buttons because they can help you out. Once again, that takes the line takes it down to the taskbar. The square expands it. The double square shrinks it again, and the X closes it. Now, what you can do with a window is you can resize it to any size you want, just by altering the you know by grabbing the sides of it. So if you see how my cursor is an arrow? When I gently move it to the right, it changes into a double arrow joined by a line. Now if I left click and hold, I can alter the width of it to any width I want. If I go to the corner and I do the same thing, I get a diagonal line with an arrow on each side and I can then alter the the height and the width to anything I want. I can also do it on the left side and I can do it top to bottom. I can do it on the top, I can do it on the bottom. 
So if I resize this window to this size and then I hit the square, it'll make it'll expand it to the whole page and if I and if I click on the double box, it'll go back to that original size. Now what I normally like to do is I like to have about half the screen taken up, just like that. And that way, if I right click on that icon and select new window, that way I can have just about two full windows open at the same time and I can compare, you know, if I'm shopping for something, I can have one thing on this window and then something I'm comparing on the other window. Or if I want to have an email and a Word document open, I can do that. And then you can just close these by clicking on the X's. Well, thank you for watching this video. I hope the tutorial on how to use your windows more effectively was of some help. I'll be doing more tutorials in the future. Please like and subscribe uh, to my channel. And uh, that's Dave Bensman from Bensman Home Computer Repair. Thank you very much.